let's also not forget about synchronous traffic. Right? So we talked about replication. Uh, typically when people talk about replication, they, they are talking about asynchronous replication because it's assumed that the large distance is large. Uh, that is typically true, yes, but there is also something called synchronous replication. Distances are smaller, but the bandwidth requirements are pretty large. Uh, uh, there's a reason why existing solutions don't even talk about synchronous tra traffic. And if you kind of think back to my comments about port-to-port -port latencies, existing solutions, the port-to-port -port latencies that they inject into the traffic are incredibly high. Um, they are anywhere from 2 milliseconds to 20 milliseconds, depending on what's going on. Uh, typically, for synchronous traffic, the end-to-end -end budget for latency is about five, 4 to 5 milliseconds. Now, if you end up injecting 2 milliseconds port-to-port, -port, you just added 8 milliseconds for this, to, to this transfer. Unacceptable. And this is prevalent across any other solution out there. Not us. Like I said before, our solution, it injects no more than 50 microseconds port-to-port. -port. Worst case for our box, worst case for our box, for you know to go to one side and come back, it's 200 microseconds because you have to take four hops through four devices. Four, 200 microseconds is, is, is nothing. I mean, for, for a budget of four to five milliseconds, it's, it's a blip. Our solution is, is going to be able to accelerate synchronous traffic and nobody else can. There is no solution in the market that even can even talk about synchronous, we can. And the primary reason, again, is the port-to-port -port latencies that we can maintain. And, and, and secondly, all the TCP optimizations that we have done, they add to this, because our solution is ready to accept any level of traffic that, that the SAN can send to us. 200 megabits, 500 megabits, a gigabit, doesn't matter. We will take it and we will make sure we pass it on at line rates across the van in a, in a, in a, and, and with the footprint being much smaller than it was. So today, if you have, uh, if you have decided that there is no solution and you know, you're going to go from a few gigabits of the on-demand to 10 or higher, no need. We can drop your traffic footprints from anywhere from 60 to 80 percent and that allows you to save all that operational expense that you, you would have paid to your service provider. And more importantly, this is something that people forget, um, it's not just the operational expense of paying to your provider. It's the upgrade costs to your network. In order to go from an OC48 to a 10 gig network, you need to upgrade a lot of equipment in your network. And that costs money. So that capex people don't really focus on, but that is also an expense. Instead, with our solution, at 10 gig rates, you can reduce your footprint so effectively that your upgrade cycle goes way out. I mean, instead of upgrading this year, maybe you need to upgrade in about three years. And that's saving. That's how you do it.